<laughs> and so when we squat, our, our femur needs to naturally rotate out. Yep. That's how we can squat deep. So the toes are gonna have to be turned out a little bit. So let's bring your feet about, yeah, heels about shoulder width. Okay. okay. Now I want you to try to squat for me and drive those knees out and hinge forward, good. How do you feel in that position? I mean, I think it's a little low, but I don't know, maybe. Well, let me look at your back. Hinge forward a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little low, because you're starting to round through here. Okay. So we don't want your back to round, so you gotta keep your chest tall. Let's go, let's put a, maybe a 10 pounder on that. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, so heel shoulder width. Drive those knees out. How's that feel? Okay, let's go ahead and rack up and put the bar on your back. Okay, so now we're gonna try to keep our chest tall, so I'm gonna you squeeze your shoulders back. Lead with your butt coming back first. Then you drive your knees forward. As you push your butt back towards the ball, you're gonna drive your knees forward and out. One. A little more control on the way down. Better. So your knees are caving in on you on the way up, so drive your knees out wider. There, fighting that, good, that was a good one. See how your knees wanna come in on you? Yeah, so we gotta work on that with some band work is all. There we go, bud. Take a deep breath, shoulders back. A little more control again on the way down. Let's do two more. There you go. One more, man. You got this. That was good. Nice. See how good that looked? How'd that feel? A lot different. Yeah. It's honestly been some high school since I've squatted. Yeah. 34. And we go down to that depth and get a full range squat like that, you're going to get stronger a lot faster. Okay. Instead of just going halfway down. Halfway down? Yeah. I'm gonna take you over here after the warm-up's done. Okay. We're gonna do some squat accessory work for you today. Perfect. Thanks, man. Bet. All right, so go ahead and have a seat here. What we're gonna do is what we noticed with your last squat. I'm gonna have you slip this over and put it over just above your knees. My knees? Yep, oh, wow. just over your knees. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna challenge your medial glutes during okay. your hip thruster. Um, and what that's gonna help is when you were squatting uh, two weeks ago, we noticed that your knees were kind of caving in. 100%. 100%, so what we're gonna do here is work on this. Okay. This is called a hip thruster. So you can go and have a seat on the floor. We're gonna do a hip thruster without the bar first. So we want about the last third of your back on the bench. So go ahead and bridge you up for me. Rest your back there, good. Just rest your back on there, you can cross oh, your arms up here. Got it. So we're gonna have your feet about a little wider than that, just outside your hips. And then when you're in the full bridge, bridge up high, I want your knee over your heel, so let's slide your feet out a little bit. What was that? We're gonna slide your feet out just a little bit. Okay, right there. Now, your toes are out here in your squat form. I want you to push your knees out as wide as your toes. So you gotta apply pressure to that band. Okay. Feel that go into your yeah. glute here, and you're in the bridge. Tuck your chin towards your chest a little bit. There you go, and then you're gonna drop your hips down. So your back's gonna have to come off the bench a little bit, then you're gonna pop back up. What I don't want you to do is I want you to hinge through your hips. I don't want you to round your back down. Yep. So as you're dropping your hips, your shoulders gotta lift off the bench, then pop back up. Back down, pop back up, good. So tuck, tuck your chin. Now, when you, as your knees are going, as your butt's going down, I need you to bow forward a little bit. Okay, now bow forward a little bit. There. So point your chest towards your knees as you're dropping down. Good, then pop up. Drive your knees out. There you go. Good, because I want to see this movement out of your shoulders. I want you flat when you're when you're in the extension. I want you flat. As you're going down, you got to bow forward so you're not rounding your back. So let your shoulders come off the bench a little bit. There you go. Come up. Good. There you go. Keep your chin tucked. Keep the band stretched. There you go. Good, go and rest. Now what we're gonna do is roll this guy up these plates here. 
Okay, now you're gonna hold onto the bar, get your shoulders up on the bench, bring your, slide your feet in first. What's the, what width do I want here? Whatever's comfortable for your grip, yep. Okay. We're gonna slide these on in. Get them where you want them first. So you said, okay, about right there with a slight external rotation. Okay. And what are we gonna do when you're in the bridge? Oh, yep, okay. line them up with your hips. When you're stretching this band out, you're gonna try to push out on that band so this knee is in line with your second and third toe, just like you would on the squat. Okay. Okay, go ahead and get your shoulders up. Go ahead and bridge up for me first. Okay, let's, uh, your feet are a little bit far back, so scoot them out a little bit. There you go. Okay, drop it down to the plates and drive them up. Push your knees out better. Okay, drive these knees out. So I want you to put more pressure against the band. Okay. There you go, Chris. Knees out, pressure on my knees out. And chin tucked. Out. Yep. Okay. Because you know, you got to have your knees going out too as you're squatting down yeah. and up. We don't want them to cave in anywhere on the way up or down. Okay. So we're going to keep those medial glutes of yours under pressure for a long time. Okay.